Okay, folks, it's showtime! Good evening, everyone. Tonight, I am reviewing Generation 1 Season 2 Thrust. He is a conehead, and he come along with uh, Ramja and Dirge, uh, who appeared in the episode uh, Dynamo Island. I can't remember which part, well, I think it was there. Uh, I think it may have been part two. But Dynamo Island part two was where every single new Transformer appeared from. It was strange, you know, series two, I think it's... I think they're a good 12 episodes into see, uh, season two with all the original uh, G1 characters. And then, all of a sudden, you get the Coneheads, you get tracks, you get Beachcomber, you get Perceptor, you get Hoist. Everyone just seems to turn up in that episode. It's a bit, it's a bit strange. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it goes from just having, you know, a small group of army on each side to, you know, a lot more, really. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Frost is one of the cone heads, like I've already said. Um, I like Frost, he's a very cool character. Um, even though he doesn't get much air time, he gets um, one, uh, he gets a couple major episodes. Uh, one where Beachcomber finds that golden... Uh, lagoon sort of thing and it makes the Transformers indestructible what that's doing on Earth I don't really know and and then the one where they are on that alien planet and they think Astro Train is a god or well, they think you know, the robots are gods I think that's about it for uh, major appearances, I mean he's always in the background and he says a few one liners and he's in the movie apparently well you see him die in the movie you see him get eaten, sort of thing. But then he's in season three. But season three had so many animation errors. It was ridiculous, you know. So, but he is... Um, the what really... You know, what made me uh, choose for us to try and... Was to buy first was because of his wings. Because um, they're the major, you know, major difference for the Coneheads. Because uh, he has vertical takeoff. Um, where Ramjet and Dirge have the straight wings and so Ramjets go down don't they, at the end and Dirges go up at the end there. So wings go down on Ramjet, wings go up on Dirge. I'm sure that's right. But uh, I liked Frost because I wanted to get Frost first mainly because I said about the wings. And I really like his colour scheme. It's a very nice colour scheme. Uh, dark red is more of sort of like a maroony sort of colour and black. Um, this is an original. I don't think there are any reissues. There may be some knockoffs out there, um, but I haven't seen any uh, official reissues of this guy. So as I said, he is a 1983 mould, this one, stamped on there. Um, he did come with all of his stickers, but I've had to take them off because they weren't in the best of condition. Um, so all I've left on there are his main Decepticon logos, which are quite good. But good old repo labels have made another ten dollars out of me, and I've ordered stickers for him. So when they arrive, I will do a an extra catch up review on that. I also need to do a bit of a uh, painting on him, just a few chips, as you can see on his chest plate there. I mean, I only got this guy for like ten pound, which is something like five dollars, uh, five American dollars, and probably around about six Australian dollars. So. Very good price. Uh, the only thing it didn't come with was his original weapons. But it come with these. Uh, the, the owner sent two of these. Which they fit on They fit on his arms better than they do his wings. But anyway. He's got quite a bit of metal on him. His whole chest plate is metal. And his arms are metal. So he's got a good weight to him. Alright. So there he is in his jet mode. I think he is one of the nicest looking seekers. Or modified seekers. Just going to review it. Right. Uh, transformation. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, same as the other seekers. Nothing different. Take off his wheel. Remove his wings. Some you can leave the wings on there. But his wings you have to swap them over. Uh, to Depending on what way you want him to uh, display. So you just fold his uh, feet down there. And then. Pull his nose cone down. Push through to release his arms, and then the good old 
I always get this bit. There we go. Through the gut section. Like so. Um, in the cartoons, he looks like that. So for the moment, I will transform him. Uh, looking like that. I just need to get his fists out of the drawer. Sorry, I was not prepared. Uh, yep, so it comes with uh, just the normal black fists. I am also bidding on a dirge tonight, so hopefully, if I don't forget, I always forget when stuff are ended and I always miss them. I mean, I put them on the watch list on eBay, but I just... I have a very bad memory. So you can either have his wings uh, like that, which some people do, which I like this way, but or the other way is, which the, some of the uh, actual pictures show of us, is to swap his wings round and have them displayed like, like so. So they're a bit of an angle. And then his uh, makeshift guns just clip onto the side. I will try and get his real guns, so... I mean, what we play labels about three weeks before they turn up, so hopefully I might try and find some weapons on eBay for him. But anyway, there is first. Um, you probably can't sell it. You know, maybe if I move that. The the heads on these guys are actually very well detailed. It's just a shame that they're so um they're so dark. You can't actually make any of the detail out on them. Um, I will paint his eyes gold, because I don't like the stickers, as <laughs> Mike Katara says, they do look like sunglasses. So I'm going to paint them gold. Um, I don't I don't mind, actually, which way you display him, with the head down or with the cone up. I don't think he looks... I don't actually think he looks that bad with the cone up. Um, the only thing you can probably see in mine's got, he's got his legs going. So I don't know if there's any screws you can do to try and get them wider, but... There is Fust in his robot mode, and he is a very cool looking figure. He looks really, he looks like a Decepticon should, you know, he's a, a very dark, very aggressive sort of looking toy. Um, and I think he is a quality, quality figure. So yeah, um, just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. I know I haven't really got many. I've managed to get past that 10 barrier, which feels like you're getting somewhere, and so thank you to everyone who subscribed, um, but I just do this for, I do this for fun, you know, I want to, I love Transformers, and I just want everyone to see, hopefully, you know, some people can't, if, well, not hopefully, I wish everyone could get Transformers, but for the people who can't find a specific Transformer, hopefully one of us, you know, one of the reviewers on, on YouTube do that review that you know, you can see the figure that you always want. Maybe even though you can't actually get him, but... It's like Sunstreaker. I really want Sunstreaker, but I just can't get him. That's why I love watching reviews um, on Sunstreaker. But I am watching a Sunstreaker, but he's already up to, like, £30. Um, it's quite expensive, so I'm going to have to really think about that. I mean, he only he ends tomorrow night, so... Really, I'm going to have to put a bit of thought into... Do I really want him that badly? But... My Transformer collection is starting to grow. I'm up to think around about... Probably close to about 30 now. Which for me is quite big. Because I haven't really got much display in area form. So they're just all swamped around my desk. So, so you're working on the computer. And you've you really got this Transformer staring at you. Oh. <laughs> Did that one just move? But yeah. I'm losing it. It's been a good day today. Mainly because England won the rugby. We beat Arnold, 30 points to 10. Um, even though we didn't win the Six Nations, but we ended it on a high. We ended up beating Ireland. Sorry for any Irish supporters watching this, but... Yes! <laughs> um, and also to Wales. Well done, Wales, because I am called to Welsh, that we uh, got the Grand Slam. Grand Slam in the Six Nations. So my Welsh side is quite trapped. But anyway... Thank you for watching. This is Generation 1, Season 2, Frost. I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Um, I will keep them coming. Um, I Hopefully I will win Dirge tonight. And I will do... Uh, I'll do... I'll get, try and get all the Seekers together. Um, and put them all together in one review so you can see them all. But I am close to running out of time. So from me and from Frost, we are wishing you all a good evening. And thank you very much for watching. Cheers, guys. I missed the off button.